All right, guys, so welcome back to the next lesson. Now we're going to learn to bolster our drums. So basically adding uh, punch and really more power to the drums. So as you can see, I have my MIDI drum track open. So I'll just go ahead and test the sounds. And it really doesn't matter which drum we start out with, but we have our snare selected. So let's just start with that. OK, so basically. Um, you're going to go into your drum rack, highlight whichever drum you want to configure, and you're going to double click, which is going to open this simpler right here. So, after you double click on the snare, which opens the simpler, right click on the simpler and click group. So, after we have our group, now we should just open just right here, hide chain. Excuse me. All right, there we go. There's a snare. And this is basically our one snare sound that's loaded into this um, tab of our drum rack right here. However, say we wanted to really bolster that sound and uh, add more punch to it. So there's our snare now. You can right click and simply duplicate. And now you see instant increase in volume. <laughs> And now, say for instance, we want to have the same snare sample, but we want to pitch a snare down or up. So you'd come here, select your second sample that you're using in that pad, right click and click unmap from transpose. Now this allow you to change the sound of the second sample that's loaded in that pad. So the newest snare that we just duplicated. So say I pitch it down by one. Now both are playing at the same time, but there is a difference. So I'll go ahead and solo the snare that we're actually changing. So that's pitch down one, and this is back to normal. Pitch it down seven, and there we go. So now let's play them both. It creates a radically different sound. So you can basically alter the settings for pretty much anything you want on whichever um, sound you would like within this drum pad. So say for instance, I wanted to change, uh, let's say the volume on this snare, we'll just right click and go to unmap from volume and then turn this lower pitch snare up. And now it's louder in our headphones. Up more, turn it down. And now we hear more of our original snare. And you can practically do anything you want with this. So it's a great way to um, really, really get that custom sound. So for instance, you can use a vinyl sample for your first type of snare, but also layer it with synthetic, um, I guess, factory sounds. So say for instance, that's fine and dandy, but you don't really want to use the same sample again. So I just click that and deleted uh, our duplicate sample. <laughs> you can go to your library and find another sample. So it doesn't really matter what it sounds like, but just drag it and drop it. And they're both playing at the same time. However, we can't exactly hear our newest snare one that we just added. So what we're gonna do is turn this up to zero dB. And now we can definitely hear it. However, it's overpowering our slice five. So we can go back in here and turn it down or you can turn it down from here as well. Um, it really just depends on wherever you'd like it to be. And this is more so panning. So now we can hear it more in the right and you can also pan from here as well. So depending on the sample you have, sometimes it's very useful to pan both right here and right here as well to get sort of a centered sound. Because um, there are some drum breaks that might be mono rather than stereo, so it'll help to, I guess, center that snare. Um, because really, I don't like to place anything more so left or right than each other unless it's uh, a hi-hat or a sound like that, very percussive, rather than your fundamental type of snare and uh, bass sound. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So all you got to do, you can 
even place an audio sample in here. Um, literally anything. So whatever you want to do with your drums, feel free. And you can also do this with your actual samples as well. So it's the exact same process, but just on your instrument or sample, um, audio sample mini track rather than your drum mini track. All right, so I hope this has been very helpful for you guys. Take care.